Hey everybody, how's it going? We are here with a general and timeless tarot reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm seeing something end because somebody was playing too much. You could have um, gotten to the point where you were like, this is not attractive anymore. I don't want to do the in and out. I'm seeing a message coming through. Somebody's trying to talk to you. I'm here trying to reach out. They want to hang out with you. They're trying to make something happen here with you. I'm also hearing for some of you that they want to reconnect. This has not been the most straightforward process. <laughs> just I'm hearing the noise outside things used to be like really tight with this person but I'm seeing something has changed for some of you this person or you have gone through some sort of like career change or you look at your responsibilities in a different way like maybe before also you could have been in a space where certain things were priorities that now you have different priorities and what you feel you need to take care of and how you're trying to show up in your life is different. So back in the day, when you were hanging out with this person, you could have had a very different agenda. And now different things matter to you. And I'm also seeing stability matter to you as well. Because I'm seeing that's how you've been striving to really show up within your life. I'm hearing it matters. And I'm seeing you also want to be around people that share that value. Somebody is coming through trying to open a door, trying to push you into it a bit is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing your hard work has really been paying off. This is like I show up and do the job and what's been showing up for me, what I've been attracting in my life is proof of that. But this was like a very big, I'm hearing call to change for you. So I'm seeing like it may not have always been like that for you, but now it is like that for you. And I'm seeing like it hasn't been easy. There's been a lot of, a lot of room for growth that's been created for you to step into your energy like this, to be able to channel your energy like this, to create like the new avenues and pathways. I'm also hearing neurologically. So this is like on a profoundly deep, like psychology level as well, it seems. So this person that's reaching out, you you like took a break from hanging out with them or there's been some sort of space. I'm seeing somebody get very, very private here with their life and what's been going on, what's been happening. And then it's kind of like they pop up out of nowhere. I'm seeing it sort of be one of these moments where like you did not see this person coming you see them like right when they get to the point where they're like right in front of you. And I don't know if they, it feels kind of deliberate the way that this person was. Like you wouldn't have guessed that this would be the next move that they would make. But maybe because you're like not connected with them the way that you were before. And so it's like you're in a dark room, right? And then as soon as they flip the lights on, like that person is right there in front of you. I'm seeing them come through in that way. That may feel a little bit jarring, only because you haven't been knowing what's been going on with them. 
Seems like something big has changed on their end as well. Like they may be coming through a bit differently than they had been before. Okay, so you for sure know this person. They're bringing up something about the past in conversation with you. It can also be about like what you guys had in the past and how that felt really ideal to them as well. Like they may be trying to recreate this sort of scenario. I'm seeing them be pretty persistent here with you. I'm seeing a lot of water energy. This can definitely be a water sign coming through. <laughs> Three out of the four knights are here. We have the, the Knight of Cups, so definitely had an emotional connection with them in the past. I'm looking at Scorpio, Pisces, and I'm seeing Aquarius on the bottom of the deck. You had an emotional connection with them in the past that felt um, friendly at the least. Like, this is somebody that you would have enjoyed, like, talking to, and you would have felt like you had common interests with this person, and there was, like, an attitude of support, stuff like that. But then I'm seeing that... It looks like you went through a change personally within your life where it occurred to you that there were certain things that mattered that may have been different than what mattered to you in the past. Like I'm seeing you got more serious with something within your life, maybe more de more dedicated we can say and more focused on stability. Like before you could have really been leaning into um not that you're not leaning into emotional connections anymore, but you could have felt like there was an area of your life in the past that you weren't tending to as much as you are now. So as much as your connections with people still matter, there is like this added piece now that also matters to you, that you care about. And I'm seeing you be tapped into this like ambitious energy. I'm seeing you have goals. I'm seeing you accomplishing goals. I'm seeing your stability matter to you. I'm seeing, I'm hearing craftsmen. So I, I get this like with the quality of how you show up and showing up well in a way that you feel proud of. I'm hearing consistency. So anyway, this person is coming through, but you, like, have not been, it's, like, there's been some sort of break in socializing with this person, so you may not be talking to them. Somebody could have, I don't, like, want to say ghosted, because it doesn't so much feel like that, but it, it feels like priorities could have shifted, and maybe that's what happened, like, why you guys aren't hanging out anymore or haven't been. Because somebody felt like they really needed to get private because of the big changes that they were going through. And so the friendship may have not felt like it aligned anymore. Like you could have felt like the two of you separated energetically because you went into two different timelines that were not intersecting. And now I'm seeing this person try to bridge that gap again and come back into your timeline is the best way that I can describe this. But I'm seeing heavy, heavy changes have happened, but I don't know if it's both of you or just one of you, but I'm seeing you guys not be aware so much of the changes that either one or both of you have gone through, but I'm seeing them be quite significant. So anyway, this person is coming through. It seems too like the way that they enter in may be a bit different than how they had in the past. Like, they may, they may be coming off in a more serious, like, maybe more clear intentions with the way that they're coming through to connect with you. I'm seeing them definitely like your vibe. Like, you feel like a rock to this person, and you definitely did in the past as well, and that's why they want to connect with you, but I'm also seeing that I'm hearing frivolity, like, frivolous. I... I'm seeing that, like, as much as this person really is attracted to the stability of you within your life, and they may a bit come across like that initially, so on 929 on the time when I looked up, this person is going to come through, and you may feel like in certain ways they've changed, but I'm also seeing that underneath it, there's like a little bit of chaos that this person is coming through with. They're definitely 
attracted to you. I'm getting like a more playful nature that this person is coming through with in, but it's not just fun and games. I'm seeing it more so be like when it comes to what you've been trying to create within your life and manifest and build and the stability that you have now that you didn't necessarily have before because it feels like more of a staple in your life. The way that I'm seeing this person come through, they may kind of chip away at that. And that's something to be mindful of. Like, they may not completely grasp what is so important to you as far as values. And I, I'm not seeing this be anything, like, malicious on their end. There just may be, like, a lack of awareness. And they're... The way that they show up in their life, that may be fine for them. It just may not be super compatible with you. I want to get further though and see. You could have felt like this person played around in the past as well. Like they weren't maybe so serious. I'm seeing you be curious. I'm hearing peak curiosity. Yeah, I do feel like they're trying to make something happen, like recreate a scenario that you had in the past with them, but I'm also getting... It's like they have a couple different things that they kind of want to connect with you on, but they may not be upfront about the extent of all of it. Like, they may come through and show you, like, 80% of the intention, and you may be under the, the impression that they're telling you, like, all of it, but then it looks like they're gonna, like, flash this side of them that you're like, oh, you didn't tell me about that. This is the feeling, definitely, that's coming through, but something is, like, a later onset, so you're not gonna see it immediately. So they come through in this one way, and that's not to say any of it isn't genuine, like, it's all genuine, but they... They may not have, like, fronted in a particular energy that is sort of, like, latent behind it. I don't think you're going to be into this. Because this is, like, a Knight of Wands energy for you. And that's going to... This is what you build within your life. Look, you have worked hard to show up in this way to be able to create this. This is, like, structure within your life that you care about. Having somebody come through, it's like this little Lego castle that you've been building. They're going to come through and knock it down. But again, I'm not seeing them... Their intention is not to, like, knock down your stability that you have. It's just what's going to happen naturally, energetically, because of the energy that they're in. But they're not trying to... I'm not getting a vibe where they're, like, trying to ruin anything for you or whatever. It's just because of the energy that they're in. It's their frequency. Like, this person may not be like completely self-aware or aware totally of the consequences of their behavior or they may not energetically be so aware of what their energy is going to do in relation to your energy and what you've been trying to build within your life you know but four of cups shows you being in a space where you're like i don't know i get this feeling of maybe not feeling like this is <sighs> It's like this. You may really like to be around this person. Say it's like this person is a puppy, okay? It's like the puppy is so cute and the puppy is so fun and you love playing with them and you feel like so happy and like joyful when you're around them and it's like really exciting and you guys can go on little adventures together and stuff like that and everybody loves the puppy but you're not gonna leave the puppy unattended you know you're gonna have to put it in like the little play pen when you can't be there to watch it and that's what this feels like and I think you're in a space where you're like I don't want to have to be fully attentive to somebody I want them to be responsible for themselves and so that's what this is what the vibe is that's going on between the two of you like you may feel like emotionally this person is not like mature in the way that you're looking for and and inadvertently they're going to like knock something over that you've worked very very hard for then i don't think that you're going to be willing to give this up even if that means 
that this may create like some pain for you because obviously it's like somebody showing up you want to connect with them all of that stuff but with your priorities this may not be something that you're going to just invite back into your life not with them showing up like that and I think like everything else about the way that they're showing up is great and on point and something that resonates with you but it's just this element of the knight of wands that you're like it's a deal breaker for me and that's what I'm seeing here I'm hearing something about trustworthy as well. Like maybe you feel like there's not full trust between you and this person. But again, like I'm not, it's not like the Seven of Swords is here and this person is like trying to do things in the shadows and not tell you about it. It's not like that. It just has to do with like a lack of full compatibility. Because in many ways you are compatible with this person, but there's something that just really sticks out. It's again, just a deal breaker. That's the best way. I feel like it's going to get redundant if we keep talking about it. That's just, that is what it is. The way that they are living right now is not compatible with your longer term goals. And so they may want to be in your life more than you feel like you have room for for them to fit appropriately. I feel like that's a way to sort of close this up. Yeah, I'm seeing like you, you feel it's only right to do what you need to do here within this situation. This is also just like the karmic implications of a situation. Like I was seeing the justice card and that means like you need to do what feels fair and right for you within this situation. And that's what's taking priority because you care about harmony and balance within your life. So it does feel like you've sort of made up your mind about this. Looking at, um, I am hearing Aquarius. I'm looking at Pisces and I'm looking at Scorpio. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.